The next one is looking at the discontinuities to identify if a function is continuous or not. There's a really, really easy way to, for us to follow this. All we basically need to do is follow along the graph and can we draw or trace the graph without lifting up our pencil? So, and you can see here that there's this hole. The only way for me to get to the other side of the hole is to lift up my pencil and then continue graphing it. So this graph is not continuous. So we could say it's a discontinuous graph or not continuous, but more often than not, I'm going to ask you what type of discontinuity or um, explain like explain the continu discontinuity as removable or non-removable, or maybe tell me what type of discontinuity it is. So let me kind of review those for you. I'll put them right here. So there's two kinds of discontinuities. You have removable and non-removable. So it's either removable or non-removable. Removable, which we'll talk more about um, later, this, later this chapter, is basically where you have holes. And from a graphical approach, they're pretty easy to identify. They're basically just where you have a blank hole in the graph. right? So you have the regular graph, and then there's a missing hole. You could have it with an included point or without an included point. Doesn't matter. These are both holes. So that's exactly what we have. We have a removable discontinuity. Sometimes I'll say, what type? So you'd say, oh, it's a hole. Now, the important thing is a lot of times we want to talk about where is that discontinuity? Where, where is it? So which should we use, x values or y values, to describe where something is as far as like the location? Well, to give you an idea, we're talking about the discontinuities of the function, which would be the domain. So therefore, we want to use the x values to identify where that discontinuity is. So we can identify the discontinuity of the graph as far as in the domain is going to be at 0 and at 2. So we could say at x equals 0 and x equals 2. So just make sure when you guys are identifying this, you're giving a location of where those discontinuities are in place. Um, and now to identify what the non-removal are, that is a jump discontinuity or a vertical asymptote. So jump discontinuities, some, some people get confused with jumps and holes because they see the open circle, closed circle. Just remember a jump is like from one function to like the next. Like you're going, from, you're going from one function to the next. This is all the same function. It just has missing dots, right? So that's why these are holes. And remember, notice I said vertical asymptotes, not horizontal asymptote. All right? Vertical asymptotes are your discontinuities of your graph, where horizontal asymptotes are not a discontinuity of the domain in their respect, all right?